Hello, welcome to Quantitative Reasoning Solution section. And today we have Quantitative Reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 92. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more Quantitative Reasoning Solutions and Problems. Right, so we have this problem before us. Here we have 2, 4, 6, 4, 16, 20, 6, 36, 42. All right, so we're going to uh, walk through them. So let's call this A, B, and C, right? So to find, let's use 2. To find 2 here, we're going to get the square root of B, right? So we're going to be using 4 as an example. So square root of 4 will give you... 2 okay and to find 4 you're going to have 2 times 2 that's 2 squared right 2 squared which means 2 times 2 is 4 and to find 6 we're going to have 2 times the next number after 2 not here that if you're counting your numbers after 2, we have 3. So we have 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so that is it for this. So let's assume we want to find this 4 here. So we're going to have square root of 16 is 4. To find 16. We have 4 squared, that's this 4 squared equals 4 times 4 is 16. And to find 20, I'm going to have 4. The next number after 4 is 5. 4 times 5 is 20. Right, so let's look at this. Uh, to find 6. We're going to consider the square root of 36 is 6. And to find 36, we're going to have 6 squared, which is 6 times 6, 36. And to find 42, we have 6. The next number after 6 is 7 times 7 is 42 all right so don't forget to don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems bye